Hi, I'm Richard Niles, and welcome to my tethered rap. Musicians in the 2020s are facing a crisis. From ancient times all the way up to the millennium, musicians have had just two tasks. One was to study music and practice their instrument to achieve a high level of artistic excellence. The other was to be professional, show up to the gig on time, shine your shoes, and whatever you do, don't sleep with the star. But the times they were to be a change in, in ways Bob Dylan could never have imagined in the 1960s. Since the 1990s, I've increasingly felt like I was Rembrandt, trying to make a living as a wedding photographer, or Marvin from The Hitchhiker's Guide, brain the size of Jupiter, and they've got me parking cars. Well, what is the impossible challenge for musicians now? Well, in the 1980s, the music business brought out the CD without copy protection, which devalued CDs when everyone started copying them. Then the cowardly new world of streaming came along, and the major labels agreed to a system where the artists, publishers, and composers split 6% of the revenue, and studio musicians got nothing. So today, major labels with major budgets will only sign artists who are already stars. New artists have two choices. Sign to indie labels whose contracts commonly offer no advance and no guaranteed promotion. The artist pays for all production, artwork, and videos. Or musicians can form their own labels and still have to pay for everything. So self-releasing artists have to become experts in digital distribution, they have to be computer savvy. They have to be experts in social media. They have to become graphic designers and video makers. And they also have to be their own booking agents. As the great jazz guitarist Nigel Price posted recently, it's all too often I get to a gig and realize I haven't had time to practice the bloody music. And let's not forget the challenge of AI. Music Business International says companies like Tencent Music have created and released over a thousand tracks created entirely by AI, including the vocals. And Spotify rival Angami claims that it hosts over 200,000 such songs, again entirely generated by AI. In the old days, new artists could work their way up the ladder of success by gigging. <laughs> Gigs today for new artists are for free, and the only exposure they get is exposing themselves to being ripped off. Well, for big artists, playing live has become increasingly the only way to make money. But for unknown artists, it's a masochistic exercise in humiliation. If they don't gig too much, they might have time to drive an Uber to make a living. So what's the answer to this impossible problem? Well. Fortunately for you, it's not impossible because I have figured out the only answer to this. Be born rich. Now, this may seem absurd. Be born rich. That's ridiculous. But I figured out two brilliant ways to actually achieve this. First, did you know that four of the world's major religions, Hinduism, Jainism, Buddhism, and Sikhism, believe in reincarnation? So, the first technique is to join one of these religions and be reborn, rich. That's pretty simple, except you have to be a little careful with Buddhism because they believe that if you attain liberation or enlightenment, you stop the cycle of samsara and you won't be reborn at all. So by all means, become a Buddhist, but don't extinguish all of your cravings. Keep some chocolate hidden in your robes or something like that. The other surefire way to be reborn rich is to sing the Billy Preston and Sarita song, With You I'm Born Again. You remember that beautiful song? Of course you do. Here it is. Born and don't you know with you, I'm born again. Well, my technique is to sing the song over and over and over again until you die of exhaustion and are, like Billy and Sarita were, born again but this time rich. Now you may say, even if you are born again from any of these methods, there's no guarantee that you will be born rich. The chances are maybe one in 10 billion. Well, looking at the chances for musicians today, those are better odds than you'll get in today's music business. Thank you.